Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at some upcoming projects that I'm excited about. Before that, let's talk about the market. So it does seem like we are at least partially back in a bull run. We had the amazing run up from 8 Ethereum all the way to 34 ETH by Azuki. They had an airdrop that started off at 3 ETH each. They ran up to 7 ETH. You got two airdrops if you held one Azuki. So essentially they dropped people 14 Ethereum if you sold the top. Now Azuki has consolidated back down under 26 Ethereum which is perfectly normal. It ran up way too high in my opinion. However, this did help spark the market. We saw a ton of potential blue chip projects pop off. We had Karafuru hit three Ethereum. We had Nanopass at five ETH, which is partially due to their upcoming Phantom project and Nanopass phase two for which the art looks absolutely amazing. We also had three landers hit above two Ethereum once again. And this is on speculation that it will count as a whitelist for the team's upcoming project, Lonely Pop. But again, the main focus over the past week or two has been on Azuki. People seem to have completely forgotten about the land drop coming up for Bored Apes. Now I know what you want out of this video. You want me to tell you what the next Azuki is. Everyone has been asking me that. So let me just tell you, nobody knows. A lot of these projects are way too early to determine if they're gonna be good or not. So we need to see a lot more development before we could determine if it's gonna be the next Bored Apes, if it's gonna be the next Azuki. Now what I do in these videos is I try to identify projects that have a lot of hype or they have a certain narrative around them to 2x to 5x to 20x my money in the short term. Now, does this mean because I have a project in my video that it's automatically going to be profitable? No, a lot of factors are outside of my control. I am simply identifying the projects that I'm looking at that I believe have that potential. Now, if you're just watching this video, taking the projects I talk about, not doing your own due diligence, you are not going to make it in the next bull cycle. I am not a financial advisor. Everything I say in this video is just my opinion and my opinion changes all the time, especially as we get more and more info about these projects. So it's very important that you always do your own research before buying or selling anything. Now let's talk about some upcoming projects. So the first project I want to highlight in today's video is called Moonbirds. Now I originally spoke about this one on my Twitter. As you can see here, I spoke about three projects. One of the projects I actually spoke about here, Alpha Dog, minted just a couple days ago, and it is sitting at a floor of a whopping 14.69 Ethereum. So if you were able to mint that, congratulations. But if we look back, you can see I also spoke about Moonbirds as well as Gangster All Star. So if you want this information earlier than a YouTube video, be sure to follow me on my Twitter. That that's Crypto Gorilla YT. So Moonbirds is going to be a 10K utility based profile picture collection dropping on April 16th. And if we look at the description, you could see they say it is the official proof XYZ profile picture. So the proof collective is made up of 1000 members in a private discord. It's essentially a group of collectors, pretty much whales. If you look here in the group, they have 306 crypto punks. They have 370 board apes. They have 5,188 art blocks. So some very deep pockets. The founder, Kevin Rose is fully doxxed. He has 1.6 million followers on Twitter. He is a partner at True Ventures, which is a VC firm that has invested in a ton of companies. They've also invested in some NFT companies. Here you can see they've invested in art blocks. And True Ventures will also be investing in Moonbirds. Now if we take a look at OpenSea, you could see the floor is a whopping 75 Ethereum. There is 6,700 ETH in volume traded. And this collection has only been out for a few months, having launched in January. So 75 Ethereum really prices 99.9% .9 of us out of getting into this group. So Moonbirds is essentially their way of expanding the group. Now they do have a ton of plans for making this more than just a profile collection. They do stress that this is going to be a utility based profile picture. One of the utilities they're going to have is nesting where it's essentially going to be locked up inside of your wallet and it's going to earn you additional benefits the longer you keep it locked up. And some of those benefits are going to be access to special channels inside of the discord. They're also going to have their own metaverse that they've already started developing it's going to come out this year. The working name is Project High Rise and your Moonbird is going to be usable inside of this world. And by nesting it, you're going to unlock different items. So if you are interested in finding out more, they do host once a week the Future Proof Twitter space where they discuss all of the features, all the utilities behind this project. So definitely check that out if you're considering investing in this. Unfortunately, there is no whitelist for this collection. It is going to be a Dutch auction starting at 2.5 Ethereum going all 
all the way down to 0.1 Ethereum. It is not gonna reach 0.1 in my opinion, and not even close. I understand that 2.5 ETH is a large amount of money and it does price a lot of you out of this, but that's just the unfortunate reality with this collection, especially when their proof pass is 75 ETH. So I'm really excited to find out what price this goes for. I'm personally gonna be looking to try to mint at least two of these, and I'm excited to see inside of the proof discord. Next on the list is a project called Makina or Makina. So unfortunately, I cannot give too much information about this one. I am in talks with the team, but they don't want me to release too much before they're able to release their website and their roadmap. Now they are taking a different approach when it comes to building their world. They're giving all of these characters a backstory. If you just look at this picture, this reminds me of something like Overwatch, where you have all of the different characters standing next to each other. But I do feel like a lot more collections are going to start to do this as they realize the importance in branding their project in order to stand out from the rest and have a long lasting life in this space. Now the art style is quite different. It's from an artist named Dylan. I have no idea who Dylan is. He has worked at companies like Blizzard, Tencent, he's worked for PUBG. And if we scroll down through all of these characters, you can see that he's been creating them for quite some time. This one is 142 weeks old. So I personally do like what I'm seeing with this collection. I'm excited to find out more. Like I said, I want to see them drop the website. I want to see them drop their roadmap so everybody could see their plans. I've gotten a glimpse at what their plans are, but I haven't gotten the full story. So I'm definitely keeping an eye on this project. The next project on today's list is called Mystics. It was brought to my attention by one of my friends, Hunter, also known as Gronk Wizard. So I like this one. It does have a contingency on it. We're going to talk about that in just a second. This test post that they posted looks great. I really like it. I like how they're running through all the traits. I like the song that's playing. So they really did a good job at preparing this. However, the issue is with the character. So if we take a look at this site, this is one of the clients of Marcus Magnuson, who is the artist for Invisible Friends. If you just look through these characters, the next one, so this one, you could see it looks an awful like the character from this collection. And that is because as they say here, it is inspired by Motion Marcus. So it does seem like they've modeled it off of this base character. I personally don't mind it. I find their character looks different enough. I understand then it's inspired, but here he's standing up. They've added a ton of different traits to make it their own. And they're actually being open about this. They're seeking for permission in order to be able to do this. Here he says, hey, it's one of my clients who owns the IP. So hopefully they can work it out because if they do, I definitely do think this is the type of art that a lot of people are gonna resonate with. And I do think this can really hit. They're playing on the whole walking meta or here it's sneaking around, but I really like the art behind this one. So I'm excited to find out if they do manage to work something Thing out. Now as for the team, there are three artists. One of them, Brad, is doxxed. However, the director and the community lead for this project are anonymous. So if you have an issue investing in anonymous collections, then that is definitely something you need to be aware of. I personally don't mind, but it's just something that you should know. So like I said, I find the art looks great and I'm looking forward to finding out more about this collection. Next is another one that actually reminds me of Random Character Collective. That is gonna be Forever Bots. And these really do remind me a lot of the Mood Rollers by Lucas Zanotto. And it's crazy how much the price of these has dipped. They were almost at three Ethereum and then the whole Invisible Friend snapshot happened and they just completely tanked back down to 0.34. If you minted them, you're still way up. But if you bought the top just for Invisible Friends, you obviously took a massive loss. But back to Forever Bots, these do remind me a lot of the Mood Rollers, but a more, I guess, high-tech version since these are robots. I personally like a lot how these look. This one, these ones are my favorite. There's gonna be five different types if you check their banner and it's gonna be a supply of 5,000 NFTs. So I'm assuming it's gonna be 1,000 of every different kind of robot. If we check out the artist, Oscar Peterson on Instagram, he has almost 100,000 followers and he is a very talented 3D motion designer. So for Everbots, this is one that's on my radar and I'll be looking for them to drop their Discord hopefully in the near future. Last but definitely not least is going to be Terrapin Genesis. So this collection is by a fellow YouTuber, Alan HM. He covers crypto, he covers NFTs. He does a lot more analysis where he looks at graphs and data to determine things. So I would definitely recommend subscribing to him, showing him some support. But back to his project. So this is going to be the Genesis collection. It's gonna be a supply of 300 
133 and the mint price is absolutely free. Now, if you are lucky enough to get inside of their Discord, you are automatically whitelisted. Normally when projects do it like that, the Discord dies because people don't need to grind it. But I could tell you happily that there is a lot going on inside the Discord. I assume due to the low supply, the small amount of members, people are actually able to have a real conversation rather than just having the spam. There's also things like alpha. So the Discord is quite active. As for the art, I've seen a few projects try to pull off turtles. I've never liked a single one, but I'm a fan of how these look. I really like the art that they've come up with. So it's going to be a low supply. It's gonna be a free mint. A lot of projects try to raise $3 million on day one, having never delivered anything. Here they're doing the complete opposite. They wanna show you what they can do. They wanna prove that they could provide value. So I'm hoping for them and obviously for myself that this can pull a Godzilla Genesis and just pump to crazy levels. The team can hopefully make a ton of money off of royalties in order to fund the further development of this project. And then one day down the line, they could launch their Gen 2, they can charge people, and they could be rewarded for all of their hard work, and it'll be 100% deserved. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you aren't already subscribed, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace. Uh, uh, uh.